finally got my hands on the 2020 WRX iDoing head unit. I've been wanting this for a really long time, excited to get this installed, see what the results are. I'm gonna break down the install, try to answer any questions you guys might have. I noticed this is a little bit different than what I've seen on different videos as far as the user interface and what it looks like. So this, I believe, is the most up-to-date version. So I'm pretty excited here. Before we get started, first things first, I'm gonna need some energy. So let's get some coffee. Coffee Beans of Choice is local roaster backyard beans about 45 minutes from my house here. I go with the espresso blend. I'm just going to do a double shot over ice with some whole milk. Pretty hot today so I'm looking to get a little energy that way. Sometimes I'll hit up the cappuccino or the latte. Definitely got to work on my latte art but I'll show you that in coming videos here. The machine I have is the Gaja Classic Pro coupled with the Rancilio or Rancilio Rocky, however you prefer to pronounce it. Very entry level machines, but for what it's used for, it's actually a really good price. Uh, if you're not familiar with the espresso kind of game, it could get really expensive. So they consider this entry level. Uh, it's pretty affordable. The beans that I was referring to, the backyard beans, they are the espresso blend and the origin i believe is colombia and ethiopia it's a full body there so i'll put the link to their website in their description so you can check those out really recommend them organic here local to pa let's get this caffeine in us even when you're feeling far away be my Did like my secret hideout, I would vibe out, cut the lights out in my room Following my doom, wallowing gloom as I hear sad songs every afternoon Listening to the man on the moon, no deep down that I had to move Only one man who could hand me truth and his hands are proof when he nailed him through The tree that was for me was actually given to Jesus Lover of my soul who saved me from all of my demons Roll away the stone and gave me something to believe in No, he saved my soul even when I am in my feelings Packaging is really nice, almost looks like an Apple product. They did a really good job of securing the system, didn't have any dents whatsoever here. No issues with parts, everything's wrapped up. In order to remove the OEM radio, you're going to use the provided plastic prying tools and just squeeze it in between the vents and the side and basically pry that open and work your way they give you two i have more here i actually used a couple to kind of create um, a little separation and it makes it a little bit easier and then once you have that separation you're basically pulling the tabs out work from the top to the sides to the bottom and then once you have it pulled out a little bit then that's where you go ahead and pull the entire unit towards you. It does take some force, so don't be afraid there. Just pull it straight back. One thing I can tell you is you don't have to remove the entire panel underneath the driver's side. I saw a couple of people do that. Way too much work. You literally just take out that Phillips screw on the left-hand side. That panel's enough to get to the bolt. The bolts on both sides are 10 millimeters. You will need extensions. I had a pretty difficult time actually getting my hands on the bolt. If you have magnetic little tool to snag that, I highly recommend it. Mine happened to break while I was doing this, so it was very unfortunate. Uh, I actually had to get my wife to get in there. She had really small hands and she was able to get on both sides. 
For these two buttons, what you want to do is squeeze, give it a decent amount of pressure right here, kind of with your fingers together, push out, and they should both come out fairly straightforward. Basically what you want to do is get a flathead screwdriver and work either from the top down, and that's what I did. So pry these two up, kind of position that, separate it from the top, pull it back if you can, maybe even put something in there to hold that, and then you want to go do the same thing on the other one, pry that up, and pull straight back. Once you have the vents removed, go ahead and transfer that over to the iDoing unit. Same thing with the HVAC controls. You just screw it in real simple. The vents just pop right back in. Once again, very straightforward. Go ahead and transfer those over. Once you're ready to plug in all the connections, you're going to kind of do it just by trial and error. That's how I did it. I had to do it a couple of times, but it's pretty straightforward. Each of them fits only in one spot. So it's going to be a combination of taking the OEM wire harness, plugging it into the new system, and then vice versa. I did notice that there's a bundle that has the old like red and yellow RCA cables. I didn't need that. You would need to install that if you're putting a sub and an amp, but I didn't and it saved some space and actually helped pushing the unit back in. So uh, I just did without it, but maybe keep it if you ever plan to upgrade in the future. Okay, so I have it all installed and it's looking good. I can tell you, I didn't videotape the actual install it took a couple of tries, I'm not gonna lie, had some issues where it wasn't fitting in and the top portion just wasn't satisfied with that. But I got it secured just how I, I think is as good as it's gonna be and I figured out best practice. So you wanna go ahead and get this bottom portion, if you could see that here, you know, this lined up and actually in. And you wanna kinda press upwards to make sure that it's locked in there. Then your top portion, what you're gonna do is just line this up here. So get that lined up, not fully in. And then once that's lined up, you're gonna have your bottom set in, and then you're gonna go ahead and I just, you know, with the palm of my hand, you know, went in there and pressed on each side. And as that's being pressed in, kinda do it, it's like a, a balancing act of getting both of those in. But if you go about that way, you shouldn't have any issues. I've done that like two or three times now, and that's the best way I could explain. You see, it's the screen there, the Google Maps. I have an Android, so it comes right up. Beautifully large screen, shows you all the features there. It has a nighttime display as well. Looks great. You, know, you have your YouTube music. Sound is so much better. Really clear. You can go back into the settings menu, pull down, and I think it has the app, the amp right there. Yep, got your functions there. You could change that all up, go into pop. That's kind of the type of music I listen to. I found it works the best. Shows you the Loudness, fat, not sure what that is, bass. Played around with a couple of those, but infinitely better than stock. I could tell you that the music just works great. Fitment's really good too. As you can see right there, can't complain. So, great job, I doing. OEM looking product, really happy with it. For the money, you really can't beat it. Nor can you be that view. Saw a stork earlier. Wow, what a beautiful creature that God created. 
something about historic. I just love them. <laughs>